Aries, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be a general reading for April 24th through the 30th. If you want something more tailored to your own specific situation, that link is in the description box below. So the messages may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, then it's just not your week. And feel free to check out any of the other awesome YouTube readers that are available to you. Let's see what you guys are up to. Five of Swords in reverse. The Devil. Ten of Swords. The Moon. Nine of Cups. Temperance. Death. And the High Priestess. So off the bat, I see the signs of Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, and, Sag and a Sag as yourself. So you could be dealing with anything outside of that. But from what I see, you're coming out of some type of deception. You could have been deceived or deceiving someone, vice versa, in the past. But this is the idea of getting out of it. Getting rid of some type of toxicity that is in your life. Some of you are just dealing with the Capricorn. No need to panic. But whatever this is, it's low vibrational energy such as fear, codependency, doing things at extremes such as over drinking, smoking too much, just at an access of something. But there's some type of toxicity that you're getting rid of because the cycle just ended. Someone may have betrayed you multiple times um, to the point where you pretty much felt dead or in a sense a cycle has been completed. Um, and there is a death card right underneath it, which just clarifies that this is a whole transformation of something. Something's been abruptly cut out, and it was due to this deception and this dishonesty that you're coming out of. And from what I see, there may have been secrets or things that were hidden in this scenario. I don't know if the person that you were dealing with, um, if they weren't being honest with you as far as their feelings and... I kind of get the vibe of hidden agendas or just not necessarily being 100% honest and transparent. But your intuition knew what was up because we have the high priestess here. I feel like this is the idea of esoteric knowledge, which is like the knowledge that can't really be proven scientifically, such as, you know, clairvoyancy, some something like that. So your gut feeling knew there was something up and... You got rid of whatever this was that was betraying you. Even if they didn't get to do it, they were still in the process of trying to betray you and hiding things from you, and you simply cut it out. Underneath the devil card, which is the codependency, the fear, we have um, the temperance card. Temperance is all about balancing yourself, patience, even healing. You could be under divine protection. So even if someone is trying to harm you, like they're not going to get anywhere, and for the most part, it's going to like backfire towards whoever the person is that's trying to cause you harm here you are feeling happy overall maybe even drinking a little too much for a few of you but at the same time you're feeling good within yourself feeling emotionally fulfilled due to the fact that you were able to get out of this deception because you trusted your intuition which is great all right so let's get another deck just to get a deeper understanding. What was this deception you were dealing with? Someone, um, either you or the person you're dealing with, wasn't investing their time and energy the way that they should have. They could have been like giving you crumbs as opposed to what their potential is as far as like how they prove to, them, to you that they care. Things like that. Or for you, due to this deception, you are now turning your back and investing things elsewhere, um, investing your time, energy, and efforts into something better. The devil card is here because a king of pentacles could have been a man or woman. This person was really grounded and nurturing and um, stable. They were able to basically provide for you stable-wise, money-wise, making sure the bills are paid. But they had some type of toxic aspect to them that had you feeling bound and trapped. And I feel like your intuition told you there was something hidden and there's something that you weren't aware of, but you knew. And you decided to choose the route of getting out of this. Like, this person's a real charmer, but I get the vibe that they don't follow through on their promises, I guess. 
something ended, you were either betrayed way too many times or something like a cycle has ended. And the reason that is, is because you're choosing a new direction, maybe wanting to find a stronger connection with someone. The lovers is the choice between two people. So I don't know if you are choosing the route of the person that you feel you're either destined to be with or you have a really strong connection to. And the moon is the hangman. The reason why um, you were feeling hung up was because you didn't know which direction you wanted to go towards, but you knew that you couldn't stay in the route that you were going in. Whoever this person is, they were deceiving you um, in some sort of way. They could have deceived you twice. Um, but I feel like you have a lot of eyes on you, which is why you may have felt hung up, like you didn't necessarily know which direction you want to go. But either way, you, you're happy because, you know, you came out of that toxicity. And I feel like you did it just with the help of your own intuition. You didn't even really ask for anyone's input. The Three of Pentacles. You're happy because you're building yourself, working on yourself, building your skills. Um, I don't know, like just feeling free and good within your own skin is the vibe that I get. But at the same time, there's something that was rejected, some type of offer, something that would have changed your stability. This is a missed opportunity of some sort. And it is kind of like the energy of crying over spilled milk. But at the same time, it's like, even though I'm dealing with this scenario that doesn't necessarily make me happy, overall, I'm still feeling good within myself, working on myself. And trying to find balance and healing, which is great energy to be in. At the same time, though, you could be not sleeping well, um, dealing with a lot of anxiety. Um, could be because you're thinking of a relationship or you're trying to make the choice between two things. Something has you stressed out and it's the choice between one thing over the other. I see a lot of twos here, two of swords, um, these two dragons in the background and the lovers another two here so two is significant try not to like get in your head too much if you find yourself stressing out do something that's going to make you feel better go get your nails done go outside play basketball go take a walk go for a swim and that's really going to help you find that healing i said go for a swim and this angel's like putting its feet in the water so i feel like water might be a good outlet for you so if you have access to like a beach a lake a pool anything like that why is the death card here three cards fell out because you are trying to find a new beginning that you feel um will be emotionally abundant for you and will grow and you're choosing a new direction towards it some of you are dealing with two different people one of these people is a fire sign. They're more fiery, passionate, driven, sexy. The other is more loving, nurturing, caring. And right now, you're choosing a new direction. Be toward, be, you're choosing a new direction towards someone else. Your intuition is here because you are slow and steadily moving to where it is that you're supposed to be and healing. So that's the end of your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.